Tell me when you're ready, Ashton. I'm already recording. <coughs> We're at 13 seconds. Oh, an hour and 15 seconds. Really? Yeah. All right. This video is about farming, homesteading, sawmilling. It's not as glamorous as what everybody thinks. So, I've been working way too much, not around here, at work work, at plumber work, for like five months, four months, six months, I don't know, it's been a long time. Back since we were actually doing regular videos, you fiddling, fadoodling with the camera is distracting me. <laughs> All right. So, we got a, oh, the tractor's sitting in the way. We got this big haul of cedar. Dashing, carry the camera over here. So we plumb a lot of new houses, and on a particular house, about 45 minutes from us, they had an old hedge row fence line, and uh, they had actually cut all these big old cedars. The back one's like 30 inches in diameter. And so they cut all these, and as you can tell, the homeowner was trying to burn them. So I asked him if uh, we could come up there and get them. He said, sure. He got a little impatient. So when we got there, there was like three times this much, and he had already burnt those 30 foot flames when we got there. It just happened to be on the day we were picking them up. But anyway, so we got all these back. So I don't hardly have time to do any saw milling or anything else other than plumbing. So, I was going to set the mill up, and I got some old retired guys that want to fiddle around with saw milling, and I was like, I got a saw mill I don't even have time to use. Come try it out. So, I threw a cedar log up on, uh, so we relocated the whole mill, put it down here. It won't start, okay? And, uh, all right, come back up here, actually. If Woodmiser watches this video, I'm gonna call him on Monday. This is actually Sunday, so I wasn't gonna bother him today. Even though Woodmiser is good on tech support, and they would actually answer the phone today, I'm pretty sure. But I didn't wanna try that. So on the display, hold on, I've got some stuff rigged up here. All right. So as you can see there, 18 and a half hours. That's all that's on this machine. Turn the key to the on position. It should say Woodmiser simple set blah 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 on there and then when I turn it it should actually start the engine so I hear a clicking going on up there this thing worked great right up till four or five months ago when I turned it off and haven't run it since and it's been covered with a, a heavy-duty rubber tarp so not really a tarp it's EPDM rubber so I start rigging stuff around trying to figure out what's going on so I run a jumper from the battery. Can you get in here? To across this fuse. There's two fuses right here on the bottom. I'm trying to arc that. So there's two fuses right here, which are in. They're not. They're not tripped out. But I'm gonna put the jumper cables on there. All of a sudden, my my simple set actually works, and the machine works. Okay. It took me a little while to figure that out. And uh, so everything operates, but it won't start. So I was like, well, crap, now what? I did have one electrical issue, I think earlier, and I called Woodmiser about it the last time I used it. There's actually a little fuse in here, and the first thing I checked. So it had blown a 30 amp fuse, or no, Excuse me, a 10 amp fuse. So it makes me think something else was going on during all that. But anyway, so I can come around here. Make sure the key is on, key's on. And jump it off because I'm really good at jumping crap off because every tractor I have, except for that one now, it actually works. It has this new safety module. So I'm not upset with that tractor except for the fact it's leaky. Um, it needs a tractor depends or something. So anyway, I'm really good at, at jumping off starters and stuff now because I've had to jump every tractor off. So this thing here is gonna get noisy.
turn the key off, it turns off, it just won't start back. Doesn't like good look good cedar in your sugar free drink. So right away, will not start back. So I actually did manage to saw that cedar log up. Just to see if it would do it. Everything seemed to operate because I thought, well, maybe it's been sitting. Oh gosh, you maybe. Oh, sorry. Maybe some contacts were corroded. Maybe it wasn't making contact good because it uses this power strip down here to make everything work. So I run that cedar log through, made a cant out of it, and it still don't work right. Um. So anyway, for everybody that just dreams and dreams and dreams about having a really nice sawmill, this is a freaking nice sawmill. And that's a nice tractor, and it's everything we have around here is really nice equipment, and it works about... Half's probably a little extreme. It works about two thirds of the time. Something is always broke, always. And I'm talking brand new stuff. So for those of you that are glossy eyed and can't wait to have animals and equipment and you want to get a sawmill because you're gonna go make some money and work on your own and all that kind of stuff, it's not all great. It's very frustrating sometimes. And you better know how to work on some stuff. If not, you'll learn very so I'm, quickly. I'm trying to figure out now what's going on with this thing. So when I do talk to Wood Miser, I can give them some more information. And maybe they can help me figure it out. Means they are good at that. But just think if I had a lumber order today or somebody was wanting to come pick something up or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, that would all fell through just because this doesn't work. And what if you had nobody to call? Then where are you at? So, stuff always breaks, machinery always breaks, it's always something not working, or you have mud muck and everything. This is the driest we've been in a, long time. a really long time. Normally this is a muddy mess out here, but today's not too bad. But anyway, that's you know, it. The last video was, the main thing was about mud, and you breaking that part on the tractor. Yes, breaking parts on tractors and mud lots and lots and lots and lots of mud we're supposed to get a bunch of rain tomorrow we're gonna be back in the mud but we try to get everything done it takes a lot of planning too so we try to get everything done that was anywhere where mud was while it's dry because it'll take another month or so for it to dry, back dry out you know i'm trying to think if there's anything else new we got a pig trailer so our pigs that are way way overgrown can finally go to freezer camp Assuming we can find a processor that has time to uh, to mess with them. Because processors right now, when she called the other day, were booked out to March and April, which is highly unusual. So that shows that lots and lots and lots of people are nervous. Lots of people are scared. Lots of people started raising animals, which I'm in support of. Um, but it kind of shows the state of things now. and what's going on in people's heads and minds and lives and such business. But anyway, for those of you like again, that are all looking forward to this and think my life would just be complete if I had a fancy sawmill and a fancy tractor and a fancy chainsaw. The fancy yeah. everything. Yeah, you better better work on it because most of that stuff is not gonna work for about two thirds of the time. What else? That's it. You show them our little trailer. You should go show them our little trailer. Okay. And we're doing a lot of moving around. We're trying to get stuff cleaned up. Spring's coming eventually. Hopefully. What else? <laughs> That's it. That's it. That it? I think that's it. Right. So I'm walking up to the tiny little trailer. It's right there. The little yeah, white thing. <laughs> we have stuff leaning up against it. Sorry, we're trying to move stuff around, so it's a bit of a mess here. There's a beagle barking around in the background. I'm still walking. <laughs> but yeah, this is what we're gonna um, haul our pigs off to, or in, haul our pigs in to off to the uh, processor. 